Welcome to a special presentation of Sellout Crowd, Conversations with Coach. I'm Bob Stoops. I'm taking time to talk with my friends and colleagues in the sports world to get caught up and share stories. We got Drake Stoops on here. Drake, how's it feel to be on your dad's podcast? What's that like? <laughs> uh, it's pretty fun. I was glad you asked me to get on here. Uh, I don't know if you'd ever put players on or not, but I'm excited. Well, let's talk uh, uh, about the big game this past weekend. Of course, OU Texas. First off, I know you saw you got such a history from a young boy, a young man, young boy coming to all these games. Who did you run into before or after the game? Some of the old players that you, you got to see on the sidelines. Yeah, I feel like I saw everybody. I got to see, uh, I saw Baker, got to see uh, D.D. Westbrook, saw Gerald McCoy, saw high five Roy Williams after a touchdown. He was just on the sideline. <laughs> um, like, oh my God, that's, that's Roy Williams. Hold up. Um, I'm trying to think who else. Uh, I feel like, I did, oh, Kenneth Murray, I got to see uh, on the yep. field after, which was fun because I played with him. Uh, I got to see Trey Young. He, not a football player, but, you know, we we go way back. So I got to see a lot of people. Yeah, Trey was in your jersey. That was cool to see. But uh, yeah. just talk about all those young years since we can, you can remember going to all these games through the years, kind of how that was now transitioning, being in the middle of it and having some significant plays here the last few years. It began as a simple dream. One doctor with a passion for helping Oklahomans look and feel their very best. Today, Dr. Victoria Johnson is celebrating 21 years as one of the nation's most experienced laser and cosmetic specialists. Visit laserlightsc.com to learn more. Yeah, it's funny how, you know, life works coming full circle. But um, I just remember being as a little kid, not really caring a whole lot about the game. I wanted us to win, but I cared more about getting uh, cotton candy and corn dogs and riding riding roller coasters and doing all that before and after the game you know so I, that was that was always the the highlight of my time as a as a young kid and then as I got into high school it was fun coming from uh, our high school game on Friday night and getting down there and joining you guys at the hotel and then I started to care more about the game and started understanding the, the magnitude of it and then now that, that I'm in it I mean it's truly indescribable to for one to play in it and contribute and then to to win it is uh it's just no better feeling to be honest we're going to get to the game lastly about growing up in this game all the uh, jake venables tyler venables you guys were all the same age coach wilson some of his kids trey and toby wilson talk about some of the mischief you guys got into uh before you know days the day before this game Oh yeah, I mean, they had that at the the rooftop. They had a pool, and so and there we'd be like we'd be up there just messing around with the pool. And there's like these little shoots you can you can throw stuff off the side of the building, and we'd be dropping apples down it, whatever we could find, you know, down the side of the building, like forty stories up. And, and I remember Toby, Coach Venables told this story about Toby Wilson. Uh, they didn't have enough tickets um, one year, and so they let him just roam around at the fair. He's like seven, and he comes back like candy all over his face and turkey leg he's like who, who won the game like outside the gate he doesn't even that's just that's just kind of a <laughs> tribute to like we really cared about all that early on yeah well that's special this game now being your last year talk about you guys as a team your mindset after last year's game getting trounced 49 nothing the whole mindset coming into this game yeah um yeah, last year was definitely not what we wanted, and we knew, I don't know, coming off just last year in general, we wanted to be better, and so the coaches really pushed us this off season, and then even doing 49 med balls every single, like, Tuesday and Thursday, it sucked, but, I mean, 49 for a reason, 49-0, and so, I mean, kind of just kept reminding us, keeping that bad taste in our mouth, and yeah, we really went to work over the off season, and uh, this game, though, I mean, we really felt like we had a fighting chance, and we came in, you know, hungry as hell, and ready to go fight and uh, claw for everything that we could get. And in my opinion, they seemed a little little too relaxed. Like they thought it was going to be another, they're going to stomp us out again. And, you know, that's a good thing. So we came in hungry and very humble. And um, I'm glad we got the win. And we definitely played uh, as the most physical team. Talk about your uh, the last drive. I thought uh, Coach Levy called a masterful game. I thought Dylan Gabriel was sensational running the ball, but then – you know, just throwing it all day, no turnovers, and him in that last drive. You had a couple key catches in the last drive. 
Talk about you guys on the sideline taking the field for that last drive and your mindset. Welcome to the 2023 FFB Awards Highlights. And First Fidelity Bank is on a tear right now. You know, when FFB hits the field, they always play to win. Yeah, it's funny because we go every Wednesday at the end of practice, the last period of practice, two-minute drill. And this week's situation was actually from the 25, I think maybe minute 20 left, no timeouts, need a touchdown to win. And then it comes up Saturday, the exact same situation we had just went over that week. And so, uh, no, it was great. Dylan made a lot of good plays, especially uh, hit me over the middle to get it started, get the first first down and get things going, which was good. And then hit Jaleel, who broke out of a tackle and made a nice play, being able to get out of bounds. And then Dylan, like like you said, he did a great job running all day, and he got flushed out of the pocket, and he did a good job keeping his eyes downfield, and he hit me on the run. And I tried to get upfield north and south as quick as I can, knowing I can't dance too much. There's not a lot of time left. So I got down, and then I think we ran, uh, ran a little QB draw, and he got down to about the six. And then before that, though, we got the holding penalty, which helped. And then uh, we ran Nick, Nick Anderson in motion. And it's crazy. You see our left tackle is blocking two guys with uh Walter Ralph. Yeah, Walter's walking two guys and Dylan steps up in the pocket. The pocket's like this closed on him. He just throws it to the back corner, Nick Anderson, and, and that's all she wrote. But I mean it was I don't know. It's hard to be nervous in that moment when you're out there. It's just uh You just go play, right? Yeah, exactly. You get lost in that moment. You know what you you have uh I've been fun to see of course you and, and Jalil Farouk have a ton of experience between the two of you. Talk about the emergence of the other young guys and how, how much fun that's been to, to, you know, to watch and be in the room with them every day. Yeah, no, I mean, it makes me just happy for them, seeing how hard they worked from last year to this year. And I, I told reporters early on, I said, they're gonna, they're, there's going to be new guys um, bursting on the scene and they're going to make themselves household names. And shoot, Nick Anderson has like <laughs> probably eight catches for like six touchdowns, you know what I mean? So he's just right. doing great. And then, Jaden Gibson's a real tall physical receiver, and he's doing great. Um, and we just got a lot of good um, competitive depth in that room. And one guy goes down, the next one's up. Or if someone needs a break, someone's ready to go, and there's not too much drop off. So it just makes me happy for them, and especially happy for you know Nick getting to have that moment. And his first OU Texas, he's really contributing. It's just uh, it's great to see it. And a brother to Rodney Anderson, who is yeah. such a significant factor in all these games, and. I know we're going to miss Andrell Anthony, our receiver number five, who uh, unfortunately has has to have an operation. But talk about uh, talk about the mindset here. The last question of, all right, we get you get an extra day or two to celebrate this win. Perfect week for uh, a bye week. Talk about finishing out the season. Yeah, I think the bye week fell at the perfect time, being halftime of the of the season and. After a real physical game, which Texas always is, so getting the guys a chance to get their bodies right, get their give their minds a little rest, not having to necessarily focus on an opponent this weekend, and just good time for our coaches saying, you know, self reflection and self scout, seeing, watching your yourself and all the games, and seeing what tendencies you have, where you can get better, what your weaknesses are, and and then once we identify those, um, just really kind of attacking them the rest of the season, these next six games, just. Uh, putting our best foot forward and definitely not getting satisfied because we're only six and zero, and there's, there's six more to go. And yeah, at the end of the day, all of our, our goals haven't been reached and there's a lot ahead of us. And in order to do that, we're going to have to stay humble and hungry. Well, I appreciate you spending these, uh, this time with me, Drake, your mom says uh, hello and she'll, she'll talk to you soon. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks for having me, dad. All right, buddy. Appreciate it. Proud of you. Right. Yeah. All right. That wraps up this installment of Conversations with Coach. Follow and subscribe to this channel and visit selloutcrowd.com to find out about upcoming programs. Thank you to these sponsors for supporting Conversations with Coach. First Fidelity Bank. First Fidelity Bank knows how to keep fans like you happy with more than 50 awards in the last five years, including Forbes Best in State Bank, the Oklahomans Community Choice Award, and the Journal Records Reader Rankings. It's clear that they're Oklahoma's number one pick for quality banking. And you can find that level of outstanding service in everything FFB offers. Open an account at an award-winning bank today at ffb.com. First Fidelity Bank. We go where you go. 
Laser Light Skin Clinic, Rose Hill Builders, Oklahoma Ford Dealers, 988 Oklahoma's Mental Health Lifeline.